Ladies and gents, welcome back to the YouTube channel. The fittest dad on earth has been very, very busy, and it's time to give you guys an update and stop in and say hello to my very, very loyal followers. And you've obviously been telling your mother, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your aunt, and your uncle because we've been growing, and from the bottom of my heart, I thank you guys very, very much. I am only making this video about this topic for one reason, one reason only because I know there's hundreds of other people out there that can learn from this. Hundreds that are in the same exact situation I am. So let's get into it right away. Overall, this video, you guys are gonna come along during this week's marathon prep. But the most important thing is what we're going to be doing tomorrow. When I went to Puerto Rico, when I was cornering the Jake Paul fight, I got my blood work done. And my biggest phobia in the entire world is needles. I will strangle a rattlesnake. I will grapple a grizzly bear, but I will not get anywhere needles. So then that means I never get my blood work done. I had a higher calling and intuition to just check my blood work. And I wanted to do it to see where I could optimize for this upcoming ultra races and my marathons. And in doing so, I got my results back and my testosterone given the most unhealthy, unfit male should be at 280 for reference, 280 to 1000. My testosterone was 106. And this is like a very scary health metric. This is like super low. It should never even be close to that. And the weird thing is guys, I should be the last person. And I'm not saying that out of spite. I'm saying that out of how my lifestyle is. It's so strict. My nutrition, the same thing every day, dialed. My training, the same thing every week, dialed. I am the most shredded I've been in a very, very long time. And hopefully we can put some videos up and put them here that you can see I'm not your normal candidate. But that is why we're making this video because anybody watching this should get your blood tested. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what to get tested for because I'm not a doctor, but I did CMP panels. I did all the liver panels, the blood panels, and our sex hormones. This is where the only thing that was rogue on my blood work was the testosterone. So you guys are going to come along this week. Tomorrow we have our hormone replacement appointment. We're going to see what we can do, how to get to the bottom of this and figure out a solution for the long term. I don't want to be a short term fix. We're looking for the long term. How can we fix this? And then you're going to come along on our marathon prep, a day in the life, what we eat, how we train, how we sleep, how we love and be with our family. It's the ins and outs of everything, blood work and marathon training. I told you I made this video for a specific reason, and that is because you behind the camera could benefit from getting your blood work done. So if you need help, if you need a place that you can get it done, I have a very good connection that is very, very inexpensive, and it allows you to fix the underlying issues of your blood markers instead of saying, hey, you have a bad liver, go away. So follow along, we have our TRT appointment tomorrow, training, training athletes, marathon prep, and we will see you guys the rest of the week. You get me the rest of the week. You guys should be so freaking stoked. Peace. All right, y'all. The time is now. We are heading to our hormone replacement slash hormone assessment appointment. We are hopefully going to get to the bottom of whatever is going on. Try to figure this out. If it's a combination of overtraining, lack of sleep, high stress, medication, whatever it is, we're going to get to the bottom of it so that hopefully we feel like Superman going into this marathon. I don't know if we're gonna be able to bring the camera into the appointment. However, we'll break it down, see what we do, and come to a conclusion so that we can continue on the road of being the fittest dad on earth. We will see you on the other side. All right, everybody, it is now Thursday. You guys gotta come along with me on Tuesday to our hormone replacement slash treatment uh, appointment. We weren't able to bring in the cameras and give you guys the details, so that's what we're going to do now. The major portion of this video is going over a full week of marathon prep. What does it look like? Why do we do it? And how do we accomplish it as a father, husband, business owner, strength and conditioning coach, hybrid athlete, X, Y, and Z. However, the biggest thing that I wanna reiterate right now before we get into the details of my blood work is do not be like me. Do your blood work. I just started doing blood work this year and we've seen a steady decrease in my testosterone. For example, a woman up to 30 years old could have anywhere from 15 to 80 testosterone. 
I had 102 and 106. This is crazy, this should not be the case. However, you can learn from me. I thought I was young, I thought I was healthy, I thought I was perfectly fine until we started doing blood work. That changed everything. So we're gonna go over the details of that blood work next, but you guys are gonna join us for the rest of the week. We have strength training today, we have strength training and running tomorrow, and then we have the longest run yet of our marathon prep. You will come along with us. Maybe we'll even go catch us Ridge's first fish, but this is what it looks like on marathon prep and why you should do your damn blood work. All right, so as we said, we're gonna go straight into the details. This is my personal blood work, both at a 30 and 60 day retest. And this is something that I hope everybody else can do and learn from my mistakes. The easiest thing would have been having a backlog of years worth of blood work data. However, I had zero because I hate needles and I'm scared of them. And this is where it leads us. We find a snapshot of our health. We find a snapshot of this data instead of having a backlog. It'd be much easier to have that backlog. So first off, the anything in red is outside of the normal range. LDL, HDL, triglycerides, okay? Any type of cholesterol. I've never had the problem ever in my life. And this was supposed to be a fasted blood draw. It was not fasted. So we're throwing these out because we retested and everything is great. I've never had any issues with cholesterol. Creatinine and BUN. These can be elevated after rigorous training. Right before doing this blood draw, I ran eight miles plus strength training. So we throw those out. We've never had anything bad. We retest and everything was good. AST is a liver function um, and this has always been elevated, but not this elevated. It has come down a little bit, but this is something to keep an eye out on because this is where our issue was. We were taking a medication that was suppressing our testosterone, but also the conversion that happens in the liver for testosterone was not happening well. This is where it gets alarming. 106 for total testosterone. Most unfit, unhealthy male should have 280. My father, who is almost 60, has 380. Okay, I'm 29. And then our free testosterone, 1.6. This is an issue. So we had to get to the bottom of it, phasing off of a medication and making sure that we can phase off testosterone because this is not what we want to do long term. After this intervention, we decided to do a 30 day retest and then get on TRT if it did not improve. And these are our 30 day retest numbers from 106 total testosterone to 102. So definitely a decrease. And then 1.6 free testosterone to 1.9. This is an even kill number. It really doesn't matter because we are so low. And then our bioavailable testosterone, 46.5 with a range of 62 optimally. This is what we're dealing with. However, having a bigger backlog would have been much better. So get your blood work done. Do a CMP panel, do a sex hormone panel, do a triglycerides and LDL and HDL, a liver function, kidney function. Have these things on hand so that you can see any minor changes and then really dive in and be proactive about this blood work data. What we've done now since this has been happening, we have officially jumped on TRT because I am a third less than the most unhealthy individual should have on testosterone. That is not good. And so we'll keep you guys updated as we go through this prep, as we go through this phase, and as we go through this TRT on how this has helped us. After all the stressful hormones, blood work, all that stuff, it's time to lift. Today is Thursday. That means we have our arms, our trunk, and our mobility. We already did our mobility this morning, so you're gonna join us for arms and trunk. Tomorrow, seven mile run, and then we hit the long doozy on Saturday. Here we go.
is Friday morning at like 4.17 in the morning. I've tried to record this about 47 times this morning and hardly talk. I'm still tired. This is all you got. It's Friday morning. We are going to head to the gym. We have a very full day of uh, training high school and college athletes along with professional and amateur boxers. And then we have a podcast with the man, the myth, the legend, Coach Pete Leno. It doesn't get better than that. Love having him in the podcast studio. And then we have our Speed Labs one-on-one -on -one call today, which is going to be something that you guys want to really pay attention to. And then for us, we have to do our marathon prep, which is a seven mile easy run, getting us ready for tomorrow's long, long run that you're gonna come along with us. And then it's hanging out with the family, catching fish, eating food, and just having a great relaxing weekend. Relaxing, relaxing weekend. We're running 15 miles, 16 miles tomorrow. Have a good day. I give North Dakota a lot of crap because it doesn't got mountains, it doesn't got much, but that's pretty beautiful. You get desensitized. And everybody, chill the heck out. I am buckled up. The reason why this is beeping, because I have a 93 pound behemoth in my driver's seat. Good morning, baby. Good morning. <music> doing guys is going to do some varied starts is what it's called so we're kind of just getting your guys's reactive tissues ready so you guys don't need to worry about these cones right now but you will vector jumps all the way down you guys have done these that's a sick shirt now you guys are just swagging cam so here all the way down all the way back so that's our vector and then we're going to go 90 180 360s good toes 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 all right dog so I'm gonna kind of show you this. So how we're gonna rock and roll with this. I broke things down a little bit. Once we rock and roll after the fight, um, this was gonna kind of be your breakdown. All right, let me throw this on you, Hazel. Make sure this is the right one. Violence and squat. Violence and squat. Go, 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 go. That's okay. I want you to literally go up. Like if you didn't have this bar in your hands, you're just going for a fucking vertical jump. Like, boom, and it's gonna go. And then you squat. The harder you pull off the floor, the less you have to squat. And this is already a PR where we are at, dog. You, I mean, we're good to go. You gotta have violence. Believe it in yourself. Squat, there, I knew it. I knew that was gonna be a good one. Violence, violence, violence. Sit, whoo, we're there though. That's the technique, dog. All right, after training all our athletes this morning, we got a quick little pump sesh with Robbie. So we had heavy cleans, heavy lunges, pull-ups, a little bit of arm work, and now we're hitting the treadmill. We got our seven mile run, getting us ready for the big long 14 and 16 mile run tomorrow. Here we go. All right, seven mile run is done. That gives us a good base for our 14 mile run tomorrow. And then we had a great podcast with Coach Leno, trained some great athletes today. It was a great Friday, and now we're on to the fun stuff. I have a full gym's worth of gym equipment at my house for our home gym. So it's time to organize, get all these things rocking and rolling so that we can have a bad ass home gym. I'm telling you, this isn't even close to a quarter of it. We got battle ropes, our foam rollers, our yoga mats, kettlebells, dumbbells. I built these strong man yokes. These are dope, med balls. These are about a quarter of the amount of the plates, our rollers. And then we come in here and we got all our rubber matting. We got squat rack our sore neck squat rack, and our turf. It's gonna be fun putting together this pretty sweet home gym. Anybody watching this, or in the fitness industry, or own a gym, or home gym, you know how shitty it is to move horse stall mats, especially the three quarter inch ones, so here we go. We own a 4,000 square foot facility gym, and moving all those in there was the worst thing I've ever done. Literal lifesaver are these easy grips, dude. Still a great workout. 
Good morning, y'all. Today is the day. It is Saturday about 6.15 in the morning. We are getting ready for our 14 mile run. And with what this North Dakota weather is doing, looks like I'm gonna have to do the whole son of a bitch on a treadmill. Gotta stack it brick by brick and it's a struggle. But to get ready for these long runs, it's not just suit up your clothes and hit the road. This is a big thing that possibly I've learned in the last year. You have to take steps and stack it brick by brick with your preparation, with your running, with your training, with your nutrition. And so what we do if we're getting ready for these long runs, I will have a full thing of element that is more potent with less water so that we can really get those electrolytes in fast. Then we'll have over 32 ounces of water also, we will start consuming carbohydrates, which is like an English muffin, some type of bagel for me before we hit the road. These are things you have to do if you want to get to these longer paces and these longer miles. You can't just grab your stuff and go for a run sometimes. If it's for me, anything over about 12 to 13 miles is when I really have to dial it in. But the most important thing is if we dial it in all the time, these are going to be great runs except if you freaking live in North Dakota and you have to do 14 miles on a treadmill. That's why I don't want to live here my whole life. I think this is super important for people to understand and that every single Saturday morning looks the exact same for me. No change. The alarm goes off at the same time. I'm doing the same things. I'm drinking the same amount of water. I'm getting the same amount of electrolytes because habits will keep you in the current reality that you're in right now if that's what you want to do. And habits will also get you to where you want to be, get you to your dreams, get you to your aspirations if the habits are correct. So for me specifically, the first thing I do on Saturday mornings is get our programming done. I'm training anywhere from 50 to 55 athletes one-on-one -on -one individually. And if I show up Monday morning and I don't have a set plan, a set program, a set cycle, people are going to get hurt. We're not going to have the results we want. And I have to take into account all the in-season stuff, the practices, the sprints, the reps, the sets, and make sure that we're doing exactly what they need for this time. Each athlete is individual. And the second thing I do is I check on my main investment, Tau or BitTensor. We are sitting at $600 a token right now, which is freaking phenomenal. And then I am posting our podcast with Matt Johnson on YouTube. I usually do this on Fridays or Saturdays, and uh, he's a guy that's changing the landscape of hybrid athletics. And so you guys can check that out on YouTube, but this is the stuff that you have to do if you want to do big things. I can't help to think about all the people early, early on. We see Logan Paul and Jake Paul as polarizing as they are. They must have done something right. Me being the coach for the last Jake Paul fight, I got to meet Logan, I got to meet Jake. They must have been doing something right, love him or hate him. For years, for 10 years, putting out constant content, doing these things, they were doing something right because they had the right habits and the right routines. Love it or hate it, don't hate the player, hate the game. All right, Saturday morning routine is done. Programming's completed, athletes are taken care of, we're gonna get strong, jacked, fast, everything. But to be completely honest today, I struggled with the programming. Like, I never struggle with the programming. It's easy, I love it, I geek out. I don't know what it was today, but now we have to shift our focus to our run. 14 miles, we have to fuel our performance. Before I became a runner, or got into the ultra marathon side, I hated eating before any physical activity, but it is paramount because the energy systems that we are using need the fuel to get us across the finish line. So today we are starting with our bagels because this is a go-to for me, and then frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries. After that, we'll get our supplements ready to rock and roll. We'll keep drinking our water, keep introducing electrolytes, and then once we get to the gym and start our run, I have my intra-run nutrition, which is going to be a banana, and then we'll have our electrolytes with our element, and then a little 
couple bites of a protein bar. Helps me feel satiated and full, but gives me a little bit of that oomph across the finish line when we're in mile 10 through 14. So we're gonna go get the food, get the supplements, and get our ass on the treadmill because I live in a hell hole with weather in North Dakota. So I just realized that I've never showed you guys and explained what our supplement protocol is and why it is like that. The thing that I hate in the fitness industry is people take this supplement because it did this for me or take this supplement because I am affiliated with this company. We're gonna give it to you straight on why I take exactly what we do based off of our blood work and make sure that you're doing exactly what you need, not what Joe Schmo needs and not what code you got in your Lincoln bio. Here is our exact supplement routine from somebody that is brutally honest and wants the best for you based off of your blood work. Enough talking. I'm freaking hungry. It's time to smash some bagels. Butter, local honey. That's it. All right, here she is in all of her glory, our running essentials. We'll have our banana for during the run, about mile seven. We'll have our element in our Nathan water bottle, which is a very, very small volume of water, which helps get the electrolytes in quicker without drinking a massive volume of water. The essential, spearmint six, my boys. And then we have vitamin D, we have our liver stack, we have our fish oil, we have our joints, caffeine, water, and getting ready to go get my little boy up before the run. Love you guys. Seven of the 14 miles done, we are halfway. It's time for the nanner. Time for some electrolytes. Time for a fresh zin. Get us pushed through that last seven. Feeling good. Oh no. Oh no. Drop the banana. She's got a little bit of road rash, boys and girls. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Let's get to it. Holy shit, we made it. 14 miles on a Saturday. <sighs> Longest run of the prep, we're only a month out. You guys know the drill. Fittest dad on earth. <sighs> out. That was the longest run of this prep. Everything feels really dang good. I was able to keep my heart rate under 153 the entire time and the cool thing is, is my aerobic capacity is getting phenomenal. Now it's just exposing myself to the mileage over a weekly period to get to that marathon pace. And uh, the thing that started giving out or that I started feeling fatigued was just my muscles. And that's a testament to how much I train out the week with strength training, heavy plyos, heavy jumping, heavy sprinting, and med ball work. If anything, we just need to continue stacking miles, stacking the bricks, um, that was the longest run. Now we are going to get into organizing 
the home gym. So we got everything out yesterday. We are making sure that it's clean and then we're taking it downstairs and putting it together. Should be pretty fun. Hi. Are you ready to go get some pizza? Oh. Yeah. Pizza? Oh, you are? You're ready? Yo peeps, it is Sunday, the last day of this vlog, and we have the North Dakota get up for you guys. Heavy Eddie Bauer, Fabletics, sweats, and the worn out Crocs. And today is a big, big day, and I think this is something that all of you guys can go through if you take the steps to get your blood work done. Three months ago, I made a video about it was the first time running five miles without my body feeling like death. I started to acquire the endurance and the mileage to be able to do that. Today, fast forward, yesterday we ran 14 miles. Anytime I'd run anything over nine, the next day I would feel like death. Today, everything is perfect. Knees are great, body is great, I feel good. That is a testament to getting my blood work done and making the interventions nutritionally with my supplementation and the hormones to hit on all cylinders. That is such a big deal because we are just consistently stacking the bricks every single day, every single week until we get to marathon prep and until we get to our marathon in Billings, our marathon in Medora, and all of our other runs during the summer. It's a cumulative effort. And I think that's something that many beginning runners struggle with. They try to go out for the normal five mile run or one mile run and they try to do it as fast as they possibly can. They get hurt or they get deterred because it's hard. Go out and scale it as easy as you can because once you do it right, this is an amazing, amazing sport, guys. So please take it slow, number one. Number two, get your blood work done. I'm 29 years old and thought I was the healthiest individual this side of the Mississippi, and that wasn't the case. So get your blood work done, make sure you take it easy, and consistently stack the miles day after day, week after week, and one day you'll go from running 40 yards in a sandwich to running two marathons in a summer, like me. P.S. You guys are coming along while I finish this basement gym and a couple woodworking projects, and then it is Monday morning and the hay needs to be put in the barn. Good job. You're coloring on your meadow box. So my DIY brain saw that these were $80 metal displays per metal display. So I decided to make my own for Ridge and I. So we both got our own little metal displays and I think they'll be pretty sweet. Ridgey will get to do all his. I will get to show my minimal ones and uh, we're gonna hang them up in the home gym. Be kind of a cool little project. best kept secret in the land. Squirt, zero calorie grapefruit. Best thing you could ever try for zero calorie pop. Ladies and gents, if you guys take one thing from this video, just one thing, get your damn blood work done. Get it done now, get it done in 60 days, get it done in 90 days and get it done in six months. I'm 29 years old and I had blood work that looked worse than an unfit 60 year old. My father had 3.8 times more testosterone than I did. These things are not normal. And I thought I was living this life of great performance and health, even though I eat amazing, I train twice a day, I sleep okay, but I take care of my body and my blood work 
was looking otherwise. So make sure whether you're running a marathon, whether you're just a dad, whether you're working a nine to five, whether you just want to be a better person and a healthier person and have a long life, get your blood work done. If you guys need help with blood work, Dr. Brian Bell at Ascends Help in Dickinson, North Dakota. He will run panels that'll cost you $800 to $1,200 at the hospital for $74 to $100. Amazing panels, amazing guidance, and something you can do right now to live a better life. So our next vlog will be leading into the Queen Bee Marathon, my first marathon as the fittest dad on earth. You are coming along with us, me, the family, we're going to document the entire series. You guys have a wonderful day. We will see you guys in a couple weeks. Fittest Dad on Earth out.